All right, guys, so I was getting ready. I'm eating lunch right now, getting ready. I'm going to head out and do a little bit of Pokemon Go. I don't know if I'll yield a video out of what I'm going to do today. Mostly just trying to hatch some eggs and acquire some new ones. But I'm sitting at home here incensing while I was eating lunch, getting ready to go. And a Nidoran female popped up. This is the last Nidoran female that I need in order to get a Nido Queen. So let's go ahead and catch it. I want to guarantee the catch, so we're going to go ahead and raspberry it up. And I have nice, I have a nice stockpile of great and ultra balls, so I have no problem using them. Hopefully we can get this caught. Wasn't a great throw, but hopefully the great ball will be enough. And it is. Let's go. I'll have to I'll have to transfer this one and another one, but we will get to what we need. Let's go ahead and transfer Nidoran female there. That one just completely randomly spawned up over there. It wasn't part of my incense. I just got completely lucky. Okay, so let's go down. Actually getting close to, to Nido King as well. Let's see here. Candies. We're at 93 candies. I want to get to 125 just to be safe. But here we go. Let's go ahead and transfer this for 70 and evolve the 490. I need to pop a lucky egg. Kind of a waste of a lucky egg because I'm not going to do any other evolutions except for this right now. I might incense again just so I can catch some Pokemon at double XP. All right, so 490. Now, the expected Nido Queen out of this, because I wanted to see if I would be like wasting, and the expected Nido Queen is somewhere between like 1400 and 1500, which isn't horrible, so I'm not too worried about that. I can always power it up here in the future, so I'm not too, not too concerned with that. But it does depend on what this is. 789, I think that's a little bit lower than expected. Uh, but let's go ahead and evolve it into a new Nido Queen. I'm super excited about this. I've been waiting for Nido Queen forever because I've had 100 candies for quite some time now. And all I've been waiting for is the extra 25 candies so I could evolve the, the Nido Ran female that I had. But let's see here. Hoping for like a 1400. I think that's all I'm going to hope for right now is just 1400. New Pokemon added to Pokedex. 1402. Not the greatest Nidoran, or Nido Queen, but we can go ahead and power it up once. It's got quite a lot of bar to fill still, so I can go ahead and continue to power it up. But let's see what it goes up by. All right, 35. That's really good. So it's 1437 now. I'm pretty happy with that for the Nido Queen. Does it top the first page? It does. It fits on the first page, just tra past Victory Bell, and just behind Electabuzz. Uh, as soon as we catch another Nido Queen or Nido Nido Ran female, and I can transfer it, I should be able to power it up maybe twice, which would probably put it past Inferno, the Flareon, um, catching up to Golduck and Clefable. Like seven more candies, and it would be my sixth uh, highest uh, water or. Er, Six highest Pokemon behind Vaporeon, and so I will be really happy about that when that happens, but now I don't have to worry too much. Oh, register 100 Pokemon in my Pokedex. So, how much experience did we get for that? Okay, it's not going to tell me. I got, what would that be? Is it 2,000? I don't know what that was. I think it was an Oddish that just disappeared, but I think it was, let's see here. New Pokemon in the Pokedex, that's 1,000, 3,000, be 3,000 Pokemon, or XP, uh, for all of that right there. So we are currently at 30,000 out of 190,000 towards level 26. Still a really long way away, but that is Pokédex entry 100 out of 100. 100 caught, 100 seen. Uh, obviously I could get some other Pokémon added to the Pokédex right now. I'm just really holding off. The next one that I'm saving up for currently is Poliwar Earl uh, into Poliwrath. Because we have 118 candies, I need 7 more in order to evolve this Poliwag, this 456 Poliwag, up into a Poliwhirl, and then into a Poliwrath. Uh, and then I gotta really start saving for Poly Toad. Um, I probably won't be able to get that on release of the second generation Pokemon, but that's no big deal. But we get to start this episode out uh, with a Needle Queen, so I'm pretty excited about that. All right, guys, so we just evolved Nido Queen a few minutes ago, and so I popped an incense so I could run out the lucky egg and not have to do evolutions, because I'm not ready to do them yet. I like to do them in, like, extreme bulk, 
And I've actually wanted to save them up and do another evolution video, even though it'll just be Pidgeys and crap, but there are some evolutions that are halfway decent that I have to do uh, that I will show you guys. But at my house, in an incense, a Vulpix actually spawned. Now, I can't tell you how many incenses I've used at my house. It's probably like 30, 40, maybe 50 incenses that I popped at my house. And I've never had something that I wanted this bad spawn at my house. Now, I already have the Ninetales, but like with any Pokemon that I like, I, I want to keep getting Ninetales. Like, it's all about, you know, let's get a better Ninetales and stuff like that. Or I'm still trying to power up the one I have. So this will give me candies that I need to do that. I'll let me power it up once. So we'll go ahead and do that in this uh, little clip here. Hopefully I can catch it. I should probably be throwing Great Balls at it. But nope, we didn't need to. Caught it with the Pokeball. Um, I'm a little bit stingy with my Ultras and Greats, and I probably shouldn't be, but I am. I actually have five candies now. I think I... Let me transfer this one, because it's it's not a great Vulpix. And let's go ahead and power up my Ninetales. So I think I should be able to power this up twice, which is really nice. I need to start saving Stardust again. I'm not being very stingy with my Stardust. And so we are going to Eclipse 1300, so it is 1329 Ninetales. I'm getting a really nice nine tails going now. A little bit farther. I want to get it to. I think I can get it to a 1500 nine tails. It's at 1329 now. It looks like I can probably power it up four or five more times at least. I think, uh, which would yield approximately 150 more combat power, which would put it at 1470. And then once I level to 26, I could get it to 1500, which I would be super stoked about. Um, but 1329, looking good right now. Uh, I didn't even, what is my move set on this? I forget. Oh yes, I got the good, I got the decent. Is it the good or is it the decent? I can't remember if Ninetales can have Fire Blast. Um, I think Heat Wave's the best, I think I have the best move set on this Ninetales, with it being Ember and Heat Wave. I think that's the best move set you can get on Ninetales, but not 100% sure. Haven't done my full research on this stuff, but... We found a Vulpix at my house. Maybe with the last 20 minutes, which is probably four Pokemon in this uh, incense, maybe we can find something else. All right, guys. So it's raining out here today. Uh, I can't really do any real Pokemon hunting today. Uh, it's pretty heavy rain, if you guys can hear it. You can probably hear the windshield wipers. But so what I'm doing today is I'm just going to go around and hatch some eggs, get some new eggs, spin some Pokestops, refill my items. I don't really need to refill any items. I got about 50 at least of everything. So just acquire some new items. Hopefully get some, uh, uh, what am I trying? Ultra, Great Balls, stuff like that. Uh, and so we're popping off eggs right now. I'm going to fill them up. Then I'm going to head to the park, the Clefairy Park, uh, and just take a quick drive around there. Uh, see if I can find anything. I think this is a 2K egg, so nothing too big. We had the thing at the beginning of the episode. We actually have some of that stuff popping off there but we do have more eggs to pop off but we do have um uh we did have the stuff at the very beginning N nice i'm happy about that that's a pikachu making our way to raichu we're about we're halfway there now 490 pikachu i think is my highest so that's always good i think yeah that's it we've got some 5kms that should be popping off here really soon uh yeah i've got two at 4.7 i've got one at 4.5 so those three should be uh, popping off very soon now and then we've got two 10k eggs that I'm working on I should be able to hatch this one today uh, I'm not sure about that one that one's about halfway that one may need to be saved for another day uh, we did have some we have some gyms going on around here um, I think there's a car over here at this gym just kind of I think they're almost boosting experience. They're just, like, swapping it back and forth. I haven't even, like, tried to fight it because they're just swapping it back and forth. So I'm just going to let them do their thing. But right now I'm going to save up eggs so that we can stockpile nine, or it'll probably be seven, seven or eight new eggs. And then we can try to pop them off all at the same time. Uh, or pop at least all the 2KMs and all the 5KMs off at the same time. And hopefully maybe get another 10K. All right, guys, so the 5K eggs, the pair of 5KM eggs are popping off now. Now, like always with 5KM, I don't really care what I get out of here. Obviously, there are things that I want more than others, like Cubone. I really do need Cubones for uh, Marowak's 
We're only out of 15 candies out of 50. We're still quite a ways away from that. But I'm not too worried about what I get out of 5k on eggs right now. It's just I'll take whatever I can hatch. Uh, because pretty much anything in 5 km, I um, I don't necessarily need, but I'm okay getting. Like I'm okay getting Ekans because I'll take another Arbok or whatever. Now Bell Sprout is probably on the far end of the I don't want because I have plenty of Bell Sprouts. But see, it's still one of those things. Like I'm not too worried about that. So we're getting extremely close here. We're at 4.82 out of the 5km and then I don't know if I'll finish these two these ones that are halfway or if I'll just go to the Clefairy Park area and just hatch them over there that'll probably be what'll happen I need to refill my eggs because I actually haven't been finding any through this drive so far but we have one more egg to pop off and then I think I'll head over to Clefairy Park as soon as I fill up my eggs again as long as these two aren't extremely close by the time I fill up my two eggs I guess Okay, so it's really coming down now. There's actually someone out here walking around. Like, you're you're insane. Like, it's pouring rain. I don't know why you would be walking around out here. But what are we going to get out of this 5K? Oh, nice, a Mankey. Does this mean I can get a Primate? No. Okay, I thought I was a lot closer. I thought I was at, like, 39 candies. But we're at 36 now, so that's still all right. Still, I've not found any eggs to refill this. So maybe by the time I actually am able to refill all my eggs... I don't know, it may be looking like we're going to be popping those off, but who knows, we'll see. Alright guys, so this is the 10km egg popping off here. Now hopefully, obviously hoping no Eevee. Now I need a Scyther and Magmar still. I'll take a Dratini. Is Porygon in 10 or 5km? Like I've told and I've seen it hatch now in... But I don't know what kilometer or kilometer egg it's in, so I can't even expect it out of anything because I don't know what it's in. Snorlax right is in 10km. I need him. There's a lot. I just don't really want Eevee. I would take a Lapras so I could take it off of the hunting for list because I wanted two Laprases. But obviously I need to get two Lapras and I only have one. So as soon as I get the second Lapras, I can take that off of the hunting for list and add something else. Obviously we want the Aerodactyl. I want Ammonite because I have so many can I have nine candies. Like I'm I'm one fifth of the way there, but let's go ahead and pop this on open. Just not an Eevee. Okay, never mind, that's the 2km. Okay, alright. The ultimate troll. Okay, we're up to 236 Magikarp candies. Alright, is okay, is this the 10k? Is this a 2K? Is this a 5? I don't even know anymore. Okay, it's a 10K, and it's a Chansey. Now, I already have a Chansey, and I think it's actually better than this Chansey, but I have 40 Chansey candies now. Uh, so we're saving up for Blissey, which is Gen 2, so I would assume it'd be 50 candies. It may be 100, but we're actually getting kind of close there. So that was the 10K egg, which I guess is semi-disappointing. But we have another 10k here that's popping off pretty soon. And we got another 10k egg from uh, driving around. We picked that up. I've got this 5k egg sitting here. Um, we've got these two fives and a two to pop off here really soon. The 2k is going to pop off. Um, I guess I'll show it. I guess this video is just going to be me hatching eggs and driving around and hatching eggs. Um, we have this 2k there. That's not important. I guess I could start the incubation on this 5k, but we'll hold off. I'll spin this pokey stop for you guys. And a great ball. Nothing. Okay, so let's get some more eggs, and then I don't know if I'm going to make it to the park. I don't know if I'm going to have time or if, or if I'll need to head to the park today. I might head to the park tomorrow, but we'll see. I'm going to continue driving around, trying to find more eggs, trying to hatch more eggs. Maybe we can get another 10k I'm egg. The chance a little bit disappointing, but you know what? It's not an EV. I can't complain. We're up to 40 Chansey Candies, which means technically I need to hatch another if it's going to be 50, which that's kind of disappointing. But we'll see. But let's go ahead. Chanseys are great for gyms too, so maybe I'll start throwing. I have double Chanseys. Maybe I'll start throwing them in, in gyms. All right, so I drove like 10 feet, and another egg is popping. So this has got to be the 2K as rain is literally pelting the car. No, this is a 5k. Okay, so this is Goldeen. 
I don't need you, but you give me enough to get a Sea King, so I guess I'm okay with you. This is probably a 5k as well, and then I would assume the 2k will pop off. No, no, we got the 2k first. Okay, so there's Spiro. Don't necessarily need you out of a 2k, but 5k. Here we go. What are we going to get? Can I get a Growlithe? I haven't got a Growlithe in so long. Yeah, look at that! Let's go! A 744 Growlithe, halfway to my Arcanine, halfway there. That means two more eggs. That's still a ways away. It's going to take forever to get this Arcanine. But 744, I'm super hyped about that because the Arcanine that I have now, or the Growlithe that I have now, is was pretty trash. I think it was a 444. Uh, you know, 469, so I can unfavor him. 469 was the Growlithe I had. And we got him all the way back on the 15th of July. So it has been a month, a month since I have hatched a Growlithe. That is crazy. All the eggs I've hatched, it's been a month since I've hatched a Growlithe. So we now have no more eggs to pop off here. I need to get five more eggs and fill it up and then we'll start hatching again. I got about, I got about 45 minutes until I got to head back home. So that's I guess I got 45 minutes to hatch eggs before I have to head back home because... By the time I head home, uh, I need to get home in about an hour, but for, it's about a 15 minute drive to get home. But we'll keep going around here, getting more eggs, see if we can get another 10k. That would be super hype. I think we'll get this 10k here hatched in this episode, I'm pretty sure. So we won't have to worry about that, but let's get some eggs and let's get them incubated. Now, how many incubators do I have left? Do I need to get some more? Two, four, five. Yeah, I do need to get more incubators, so I'll go ahead and get that. I'll go ahead and get myself some incubators. Alright guys, so I hatched an egg, the 2k egg. It was just the magic carp. No need to go into that. I guess I can show you the update. I did transfer it, so I gotta go all the way down to the bottom here. To magic carp. Where is he? There we go. Magic carp. We're up to 247 candies. So maybe by the time we get to September, I will have a Gyarados. I'm hope my goal is my birthday. My birthday is September 5th, um, which is actually Labor Day this year in America. I think that that's it. That's my goal. September 5th, my birthday, Gyarados, and maybe a better Magic carp than 160. But here it is. We have seven 5km eggs. I'm hoping out of one of these I can get another Growlithe. Now there are so many 5km egg Pokemon that that's that that's the thing. We will pop off this 10km egg, which is going to be great. But I've got about a half hour here. Yeah, i got about a half hour here to go ahead and try and hatch all of these. So I went ahead and bought a bunch of incubators, a bunch of new ones. Uh, so let's go ahead and throw these in there. Definitely come down here and use the one-use ones first. It's still pouring rain. I wish I could kind of get out and just go for a nice little walk instead of having to ride around in my car, but the car works just as good. Okay, so now I want to go to the three because I want to make sure I always have enough that I can have nine eggs incubated because that's kind of the biggest, biggest thing. All right, so there we go. I might do a little bit of a thing where we might, we might do a little bit of a gym fight in this episode. I'm not sure. Could go take down this gym. Not too hard. There's actually a level 30 at this gym. We've got a 23, 26, and train. Okay, there's literally a train that's like nine engines. That was pretty cool. Uh, this is a level 30, but they only left a 1785 Hypno at the gym. Uh, there's a 26 and a 23. They were all riding around in the same car. Um, there were a couple of us in the in this uh, graveyard. Uh, or cemetery. Why do I always call it a It's a cemetery. Okay, in the cemetery. Like in my Pokemon Etiquette video I discussed, it's raining now. No one's going to be at the cemetery. So, you know, I, I, I don't think it's a big deal that I'm here. Now, now if anybody, like, came and was trying to do their thing, I'd probably leave if they were trying to have, you know, time at the cemetery. I would probably just go ahead and get on out of here and leave. But obviously no one's here. But they were here, that car, and there was another car, and, you know, we, we, I waved at them or whatever because they were taking, they were taking my gym. I retook this gym and put my Lapras there. Maybe it'll hold for a little while. I should probably take that just so I can get the added 500 Stardust or whatever before I collect. But we got about a half hour. 
Let's see if we can hatch all of these 5km eggs. I think that'd be awesome, but we will be back with the 10km egg first. All right, guys, 10km egg time. Just no Eevee. If we were going to get an Eevee, I would have rather had it just been first. Oh, yeah, I forgot you can get Jinx out of a 10km egg. I forgot that was a thing. So I have 97 Jinx candies now, and a not very good Jinx, but I did get um, did get some experience and some other stuff from that. Let's see, what is my strongest Jinx? I don't even know. I have a ton of Jinx for some reason. I don't know. I just don't. I just don't transfer them because there's no point at this point of the game. I actually need to probably get on transferring because, as you can see. I only have 25 more Pokemon spots left, so that 969 is actually my third strongest, but this 1127 is my most powerful. Did get a little Stardust from that. I'm not sure if I'm going to get these 5km eggs hatched. Uh, it's it's going to be cutting it close. I'm not sure I'm going to get it done, but we'll definitely get it taken care of in the next episode, if not this one.